We had so many great prep sports teams that provided superior talent and every one of them made runs all the way to state. For our final award of the show, let's go to Justin Cornwell with our nominees for Team of the Year, sponsored by BMO. Our first nominee is no stranger to the Team of the Year award category. Bended Academy Girls Volleyball has been an absolute powerhouse for over 15 years when head coach Brad Baker took over the program. After falling in the sectional semifinals last season, the Red Wings went back to working their way to the state series at Illinois State University. The team got off to a strong start, winning the always competitive Wheaton Classic. There was a bit of a rough patch with the team dropping three matches in a two-week span in late October before riding the ship as the postseason began. Behind seniors like Kristen Kramer, Gabby Staniscus, Annie Eschenbach and Peyton Turner, and underclassmen Ava Novak, Anaya Warren, and Lindy Tarnow, the Wings rolled through the regional and sectional rounds, not losing a set along the way. They also dominated O'Fallon to win the super sectional plaque and Barrington in the state semifinals. The 4A championship match against Mother Macaulay went back and forth and needed all three sets to decide the winner, but the Max were able to pull away in set three to win the title. A 37-5 season and a state runner-up finish is more than deserving of another nomination for Team of the Year for Bennett Academy Girls Volleyball. For over a decade, Naperville Central Boys Soccer has been a program haunted by near misses. Three straight trips to state from 2011 through 2013 that ended in heartbreak and the inability to get past rival Naperville North, who has dominated the sectional since 2016. This fall, that all changed for the Red Hawks. Despite an early stumble in the Best of the West tournament, Central went on a tear from mid-September through the end of the season, including victories over Naperville North in DVC play and a 3-2 thriller in the section championship. Joey LaDuca, Josh Weigel, Nathan Kwan, and Sean O'Reilly all scored double-digit goals on the season and were led by freshman phenom Chase Adams, who was tops on the team with 21 goals and 19 assists. Goalies Dylan Scott and Austin Waite split time in net, each performing admirably all season. Defense tends to tighten up the deeper you get into the postseason, but the red and white showed off their firepower with three goals in the sectional final, four in the super sectional win over Hinsdale Central, and a 5-0 shutout over Stevenson in the state semifinals. In the 3A championship against Romeoville, Josh Weigel's second half goal was the difference as Naperville Central Boys Soccer was victorious by a 1-0 score. What made the moment even sweeter was Chase and Carter Adams helping their father, longtime head coach Troy Adams, finally earn that long-awaited state title. Bennett Academy Girls Basketball is another Team of the Year mainstay after earning state trophies in 2015, 2016, 2019, and 2022. After a fourth place finish a season ago, the hopes were high once again that another trip to Illinois State may be in the cards. As per usual, under head coach Joe Kilbride, the Red Wings faced a daunting schedule with top competition from across Illinois and surrounding states. Despite some last-minute defeats, the challenging journey prepared the likes of Sam Trimberger, Maggie and Amelia Solarski, Lindsay Hartsich, and of course, Ms. Illinois Basketball and the Gatorade Player of the Year, Lene Beaumont. Having gone through the fires, prepared the Wings to erase an early deficit against Wabonzi Valley in the sectional championship, and when Kenwood hit a go-ahead three-pointer with less than 10 seconds to play in the super sectional, Ben executed the game-winning play to perfection as Beaumont found Harzik for the last second layup to send their team back to state. In the semifinals against Geneva, it was Sam Trimberger who played the hero with a rebound and a pair of last second free throws to secure a 50-48 win. Despite back-to-back 27-point performances from Beaumont, the Magic ran out in the 4A state championship against O'Fallon in another thriller as the Red Wings fell in double overtime, 62-57. Despite the heartbreaking finish, it was another season to remember for Red Wing girls hoops, with the state runner-up trophy joining the overflowing case in the Bennett Athletics hallway. 
Bennett Academy boys basketball has also been a mainstay in the elite programs of the state since the early days of head coach Gene Heidkamp's tenure. One of the most impressive aspects of Coach Heidkamp is his ability to get a new lineup playing at a high level year after year, even following the graduation of talented seniors. This year was no exception, with seniors Sam Driscoll, Andy Nash, and junior Parker Sullivan teaming up with the three-headed monster of Nico Abusara, Brady Kunka, and Braden Fagbemi. The team cruised through the first half of the schedule before proving their medal with impressive victories over Joliet West and Kenwood. The Wings entered the postseason with only one loss, and that was a 52-49 defeat to top-ranked Simeon in the Pontiac Holiday Tournament. The record-breaking season nearly came to an abrupt end in the sectional championship against Geneva, before Braden Fagbemi saved the season with a game-winning putback in the final seconds. Bennett went on to advance to the 4A state championship for a third time since 2014 after blowout victories over Rockford Auburn and New Trier. Unfortunately, the Red Wings came up short in the finale once again, falling to Moline to bring home the state runner-up trophy. But there was no reason for this special group to hang their heads after setting a new school record with 35 wins and snagging another piece of hardware to bring home. Naperville is always in the mix when it comes to competing for state trophies in badminton. It's just a matter of which local team emerges as the top contender. This season it was clear from the start that Nico Valley had the talent on the roster to find a place on the podium. The Blue and Gold won both the DBC and a sectional championship while going undefeated in conference play. Leading away for Coach Benson was sophomore Hannah George, who built on a third place state finish as a freshman and made it to the singles championship this spring after winning the DBC and sectional titles. George fell in the singles championship in a tough three set battle, but handed champion Andrea Lee her first set loss in over two years. Wan Han Sun brought her experience to the singles bracket and won two matches at the state meet, while the pairing of Yin Yin Liu and Cynthia Zhang won three matches in doubles. Arushi Chaudhry and Kanyanat Bajwararat became a doubles team just before the postseason began, but the chemistry came together quickly as the Wildcats won a sectional championship and finished in fourth place at the state meet. All that added up to a team state badminton runner-up trophy the best finish for the program since 2017. Another Nico Valley squad who had a spring season to remember was the boys track and field team. After winning state championships in 2018 and 2021, the Wildcats and head coach Mike Kennedy hoped for a similar performance this year. Winning the DVC Indoor Championship does not always translate to automatic success for the rest of the season, but this year it did seem to be a sign of things to come, as Nico Valley took home the plaque. The boys in blue and gold repeated the feat in the DVC outdoor meet before taking home the Plainfield North sectional championship as well. Strong performances in a wide range of events led the way, like Thomas Kiefer in the pole vault, James Ammenhauser in the long and triple jump, and the 4x100 and 4x200 meter relays. Distance runners Robert Glenn and Zach Close performed well all year, as did sprinters like Jake Lansdowne and Austin Bell. On the blue track at Eastern Illinois for the 3A state meet, Ammon Hauser, Close, Lansdowne and Bell, and both relays all earned all-state honors. Heading into the second to last race of the day, Austin Bell delivered a runner-up performance in the 200 meters, which clinched the second place state trophy for the Wildcats. Another outstanding season for the program as legendary distance coach Paul Vandersteen capped off a Hall of Fame career with one final piece of hardware. Our final nominee has powered itself into the conversation of the top teams in the state over the past five years. Bennett Academy girls soccer has always been a solid program, but with three state appearances since 2019, coach Gerard O'Connor's girls have proven they belong. Following a two-way runner-up performance a season ago, the Red Wings were eager to get another chance this spring. A mix of top returning talent like Anna Kazmier, Rachel Burns, Rania Fickrey, Brinkley Douglas, Reese McDonald, Sadie Sturbenz, and Kira Petroselli combined with exciting newcomers like Ivana Vukas and Annie Fitzgerald to form a potent lineup. Goalie Shannon Clark was back in net and allowed only 14 goals all season long. 
Bennett went undefeated in ESCC play and handily won a regional championship as well. The Red Wings were able to earn a second consecutive sectional championship after a late victory over Caneland in the semis and a 4-0 shutout over Lamont in the final. The super sectional against Peoria Notre Dame needed overtime to decide a winner as both goalies kept the game scoreless throughout the first 80 minutes. Annie Fitzgerald was the hero as she scored the game winner in the extra session to send her team back to state. A 2-0 shutout of Crystal Lake Central set up the championship game matchup with Glenwood. This game would also need overtime to decide a winner, but unfortunately the Red Wings fell 2-0 and ended another outstanding 20-win campaign as the two-way state runner-up. And your team of the year goes to Naperville Central Boys Soccer. They were an absolute joy to watch all season. Congratulations on becoming the program's first ever state champion.